So in this video, I will be speaking about passport bros and how women in DR, Dominican Republic, they are putting out statements saying that they don't want black passport bros coming to their country, messing with the tourism and the view of how everyone perceives them as a country. They're saying that these black passport pros are messing up their image, all right? And then you also have a number of Dominican women in DR who are robbing black men, the passport bros that leave the American soil and go over their DR to find love or whatever it is that these black men, you know, are trying to find in DR. So for those of you who are familiar with passport bros, passport bros are a group of men. They can be African-American, white American, Latin American, Asian American, etc. And the whole purpose of the passport bro movement is these are men here in America, in the Western world, and they are trying to dodge women within the Western world. And they are trying to go to other countries and pursue love from women in other countries, whether it be throughout South America and other Latin American regions or Asia, Europe, Africa, etc., etc. They're trying to find love in these other countries. They're trying to dodge the Western world. Within the Western world, which would be here in America on the Western Hemisphere, they're trying to dodge materialistic women, women that are gold diggers. Maybe some of these men, um, <clears throat> they don't prefer women that get surgery. They like the woman to be natural. It just really boils down to men that are dodging materialism. And when they go to these countries, they want to find love, genuine love. They want women who love them for who they are and not what they can give them. So in that aspect, whoever these men are, I approve of that. You know, I approve of that. I mean, I don't think it, you have to necessarily go to whatever country and um, do the negligent things that I will get into. There are degenerate things that certain men are doing within the movement that I totally do not approve of. I will get to that momentarily. Um, but yes, like the, it is true because here in the Western Hemisphere, there's a lot of materialism. There's a lot of hyposexuality. Um, there's a lot of things going on where you just want to find peace. You want love, but at the same time, you want peace. And you're, you don't want to just find, be desperate and find love anywhere when in all actuality, it's not really love. So that brings me to Dominican women who are putting out the fact that they don't want these black passport bros going to DR and some of them are robbing these black men. <clears throat> now I tell you, is there such thing as an individual black man going to the Dominican Republic, finding his beautiful Dominican woman? Absolutely. Individual wise, it is. It makes sense and it can happen. But if I were to get into the whole concept of why these Dominican women are doing these, particularly to the black men, why are they telling black men not to come there for that specific purpose? Um... I would say that these Dominican or women are doing that is because they see what's going on. Even if it happens to be that one particular Dominican woman, like let's say she lives in DR and she probably never even stepped foot in America. She has a broad perspective of the black community here in America. Now, listen, I want the black community to understand in terms of black men in the in, like the segment of black men in passport bros. You have to understand that when you're going to other countries, black men, you're not being viewed as an individual. You could be a good individual. You could be a strong black man, an accountable black man. You're doing your thing, but you're not being viewed as an individual. You're going to be viewed as a collective. So these women in other countries, they're going to see you and, and look at you like, you know, you're trying to build a foundation in my country, whatever country that may be. But how is your foundation back home in America? Are you solid back in America? Now, when they look at white men as a collective, they know that white men are established. You know, and, and a white man comes to their country, they could just be like, oh, today's Monday right now at one o'clock. You know what? Spontaneously, I'm going to go to Aruba or I'm going to go to Dominican Republic. You know, I'll be there later on tonight. I'm so random spontaneous with it. I'm just going to fly out there on my jet. These Dominican women know that. They see all of this, okay? I didn't make the rules. I'm just telling you what's going on. And you could take what you will. So when these Dominican women do not want these black men mess with their tourist views because DR, I, I like to think that DR as a country, they want to keep the diversity and they just don't want your black degeneracy there. They don't want like, okay, you're a black man coming to us, coming, you know, or coming to DR, coming over to the Latina woman. And they're questioning you like, how are you back home? Do you have children? Are you taking care of your children? Are you established? What do you have as a black man in America? What do you have there? And before you leave America, why are you coming to the DR? Why do you think you could build something with me and give me something? What do you have in America? Are you established? And I don't know the statistics. I don't know what's going on with these black men that are going to the Dominican Republic. But 
for, for these Latina women to, you know, some of them are robbing them. And then I said, some of them are put, or a number of them are putting out statements saying they don't want you going there. You know what I'm saying? If you want to keep going there, black men, you do that. That's your prerogative. I'm not telling you what to do. Black women, stay out of this. Or you know what? You, you don't have to put your energy into this black woman. You know, because most of the time, these black men, whether it's going to DR or whether it's right here in the American soil, black men like to pillow talk. They like to pillow talk to white women, Asian women, Latina women. And there's videos by, of this, by the way. You don't have to take my word. You can go look up these videos of black men. Actually, excuse me. It's women, even like Filipino women. There's a few women, few Filipino women who are over there in the Philippines making videos saying that black men are coming to them saying they want to find love with them, but they're speaking badly about black women. Okay, black man, you're going, you're leaving America and you're going to the Philippines and you want to get you your beautiful Filipino woman. Just do that. Why do you have to speak badly about black women to get a Filipino woman? So these women, anyone that's watching my video right now, go on YouTube, okay? Here in America, there's white women and there's Latino women. Here in America, they're saying that black men are pillow talking to them negatively about black women. Why? <laughs> And the thing is, black men keep making these videos as of lately talking about, you know, black women or us as melanated women. We're, we're mad that they're dating white women, Latino women, whatever. We are not upset with, you know, date with whoever you want to date. But why do it at the detriment of speaking negatively about black women? Why? And that's the thing. A lot of these black men, they pillow talk in general. I'm not even only just speaking from the racial aspect. I can give you the example that when there is a black man who's absent from the home and he's no longer with his baby mother or the mother of his child, I don't know, might be her fault, might be his fault. It depends on an individual situation. But there are situations where black men, even let's say now he left his baby mother and he's going to his new woman. Why do you have to speak to your new woman? Why do you have to speak negatively about the mother of your child to this new woman? This new woman, she could be black, white, or Latina. What I'm saying is, as a man, why are you pillow talking to one woman about another woman? That's not a manly trait. So don't sit there as, as a passport bro, specifically as a black passport bro, and think that you're going to go to the Philippines, the DR, Colombia, etc., etc., whatever countries, because obviously you guys want to get these women more so in European and Latin American regions as opposed to going to African regions. So that's your preference, that's your choice, but I'm saying do what you do. Go to any one of these countries for that matter. But why do you have to pillow talk and speak negatively on black women? Like, <clears throat> you, listen, you're leaving America to go to another country. You don't even have to speak about America when you go to these other countries. Just do what you do and do what makes you happy. Why pillow talk? That's what a lot of black men do. So when you pillow talk, it shows people of other ethnic backgrounds, whether you're leaving America or whether you're staying in America, when black men pillow talk, they're showing other people that they lack loyalty as a man. I'll bring this on a street level. I, I use I used these other countries. I use these other ethnic women as, as, as an example. I use the baby mama, baby father as an example. Now I'll put it on a street level. Let's take it to the streets, all right? I have seen stories and I have given feedback to people you know, I'll still give the same feedback if it occurs. If I see a story that this one black man comes from one hood or one city or one town and he leaves that area to go to another city or another town or wherever that may be, he's talking to these other group of black men like, oh, yeah, he's speaking badly on dudes from his own town, dudes from his own community. Then somehow he ends up shot and dead. I told people he deserves that shit. OK, because why are you going to another hood? And you're speaking to them negatively about the hood or the community that you come from. You're showing these other men that you lack loyalty. And nine out of ten times, you're a rat. You are a snitch. Okay? So they should blow your ass up. You get you you get what you what you what you ask for. You deserve that shit. Stop pillow talking and stop running your mouth like a bitch. Okay? You deserve that shit on a street level, um, out in other countries and other soil. Because one thing, when you leave America and you go to another country, just anybody in general, you need to understand that you are no longer in America and you are going to somebody else's soil. You need to take that into consideration. This could apply for everybody actually at this point, okay? So this is what people are seeing in the black community because we wanna talk about, oh, be submissive and be a leader or you know, the man is supposed to lead, the woman is supposed to follow, okay? In the black community, the black men as a collective, not as an individual, because I, I chop it up with excellent black men all the time that 
They're leader. They're accountable. They hold shit down. They take care of their family, et cetera, et cetera. We do have good black men. But as collective, when you look at what's going on nationwide, black men murdering black women, black men. Oh, I'm a passport, bro. I'm going to this country, this country. Dominican women don't want you there. Okay. Some of them are killing you. And, um, they're saying that you're messing with their tourism is an issue. That's not good, black man. Don't do that. Don't mess up the Dominican Republic. Don't do that to them. They don't deserve that. From what I heard, I haven't been there as of yet. I heard it's a beautiful country, by the way. Don't, don't mess up their image just because your image might be very well messed up. That's not good. That's that toxic socialist mentality. Don't do that shit, okay? Don't mess with DR, okay? So this goes back to what do I feel about these Dominican women, um not wanting to have these black men in their country, they're messing up their image. Hey, Dominican woman, you're right. You are right to feel that way. Again, is there a such thing as a black man that's went to the DR, or even if there's a black man here in America with a Dominican woman, are they truly in love? Absolutely, it truly exists. But if you have um, comprehensive skills, you understand what I'm saying in this video. Not picking on anybody, not trying to throw anybody under the bus. I am telling the truth for what it is, okay? So yes, Dominican woman, you have every right to feel that way. Don't allow these men to mess up your mess with your image. And if you feel like these black men are coming to your country and they automatically feel like you you owe them sex, you know, you're just trying to be a nice Dominican beautiful woman and these what these black men are coming to your country, they're trying to have sex with you. If you want to set them up, go ahead. Do what you have to do. All right? Because I'm tired of black men showing that they don't have loyalty, they lack discipline, and they just don't know how to stay solid. Like, like I said, this is not all black men, but we know we all know which degenerate black men I am speaking on, okay? As a black man, you want to go out to the streets and speak bad on your own hood and go to somebody else's hood. You lack loyalty. You're most likely a rat, and you're weak, okay? And everybody sees this. Everybody sees this, okay? I'm surprised Colombia hasn't issued the same state statement. I mean, Colombia, if you do that, do that, you, you know, any, I could care, it could be a European region or a Latin American region. If they say that they don't want black men coming there because it's messing up their image, fine. You women have every right to feel that way. However, if you do find love from these black passport bros, I'm talking about the good ones. If you do find love, you know, so be it. But how the fuck are you going to be a black man? You, you barely take care of your children. You, you don't care about black women here in America. And you think you're going to go to these other countries and tell these women you're going to do right by them? And you think that they're stupid and they don't see this shit? That's what you think? So that's what I wanted to say. Again, to the whole broad spectrum of passport bros, I approve of what you guys are trying to do, okay? Yes, there is a thing of women, <clears throat> mostly black women. Just because of the dynamics and how things are where, you know, a lot of them make videos on YouTube where you can go ahead and see that for yourself where they're mad about black men going to other countries and finding other women. But you guys don't understand there are a lot of black women now that don't even care about who black women, I mean, excuse me, who black men date because of the degeneracy that I'm speaking about in this video on black men. Because now black women, including myself, I'm still single. I haven't jumped out the box yet, but, I, you know, they're expanding their options. I mean, they'll date white men and Latino men or Asian men, et cetera, et cetera. They, they're no longer being loyal to degenerate black men that want them to suffer to receive their loyalty. It, but they're not even going to get loyalty from this black men when they suffer for them. Okay? Okay? So why should women overseas deal with that? If they get a good black man, fine. But they, but they, these people overseas, they know exactly what's going on. They don't even have to step a foot here in America. They know about the de de degeneracy with these black men. They know exactly what's going on. Okay? They know exactly what's going on. And black women, step back, explore your options, do what makes you happy. If you find a good black man, hey, absolutely. But they're doing what they're doing and you have to do what you have to do. You can't be loyal to the men that 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 have been, these these black men, they, fa they, they failed. They failed historically, you know, slavery, Jim Crow days, them, you know, begging for integration and stuff. They like, they talk about you're supposed to be submissive to a dominant man. How can you be submissive? How can black women be submissive to black men as a collective, not individual couples, as a collective? How do black women have, how do people have an expectation of black women to be submissive to black men if black men are not the leaders of the world? And then they, and then they keep running to white men and Latino women, all these other women and go to other countries. Go look up the videos of Filipinos saying black man, black man, black man, you coming to here, you coming to the Philippines, you want to be, no, why are you running to them? And you're speaking badly about black women. 
You, you lack loyalty, you lack discipline, you're weak, you're not the leaders, you do not run the world, okay? So Dominican women don't have a problem with white men randomly taking a jet spontaneously and landing over there in DR. They don't have a problem with that, and they shouldn't.